All right, yeah. Everybody uh, listening here on the Wrestling Mayhem Show, we have a very special guest. Uh, on the phone with us is Zin Wuku from uh, Amer- you. Everybody probably knows him now from uh, as Zen on American Gladiators. Uh, Zin, thanks for joining us. How are you doing today? What up? What up? All right, that <laughs> that sounds a little bit better. L- let's get this thing going. As everybody said, we got on phone Zin Wuku, Zen American Gladiators. Uh, yes. Also, also known, known as the infamous Urban Ninja of YouTube. The Urban Ninja from, uh, uh, a lot of people have seen it from the Ninja Gaiden commercials. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. I, I, was, uh, <laughs> I, was, I was pleasantly surprised when I found out that was you. Like, after I, oh, saw, really? <laughs> well, after I saw you on your uh, first performance of American Gladiators, I began looking stuff up on you. And, uh, bam, there you were, is the uh, Urban Ninja from the Ninja Gaiden commercial. It was pretty cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I had my face covered most of the time, but uh, people recognized me by my uh, my moves, my skills. So it's pretty cool. Awesome. Nice. That's that's a that's definitely got to be a good thing to be going by then. Um, I have here. <laughs> yeah, my, for sure. I have here in my notes. You're also you also go by the Son of Heaven. How how did that come Indeed. about? Uh, the Son of Heaven is uh, uh, my nickname, my my true nickname, I would say. Um, and that came about. Uh, I was talking to my grandpa a long time ago, and uh, he mentioned that. Our bloodline uh, comes from the Han Dynasty, the original emperors of China, and uh, and in Chinese, the Son of Heaven is the Emperor of China. Wow, that's that's awesome. Yeah, says uh, he says we uh, uh, we were exiled uh, during the the Three Kingdoms era, uh, China's famous feuding feuding era, mm-hmm. and uh, we ran to the mountains of Guilin and uh, changed our title to the Hakka. And uh, that's where we stayed in exile, and we're waiting for our chance to return to the throne as the sons of heaven. Nice, I like that. that that's, <laughs> that's really nice. That, wow. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and that's where my uh, my symbol comes from, uh, the, the Chinese symbol that I always wear on my back. Uh, you might see it in a lot of my videos or on my webpage. Uh-huh. It's, uh, the symbol stands for heaven. Oh, okay, it makes sense now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Um, also read, I guess, if anybody really wants to see this, go to OriginalZin.com. There's tons of information on this guy. It's pretty, it's, I enjoyed reading it. It, it was a really good read. Uh, and, starting, he, and, he uh, enjoyed, and he enjoyed reading it to us, too. Yeah, I, uh, I read it to them before the start of the show, and it was, they, they uh, had a good time with me emphasizing your words. So, uh, right on. Yeah, I try to, I try to write uh, so people enjoy, enjoy the read instead of just, uh, having to go through it and eating it. <laughs> now, now, speaking of your site, I, I, I do have to comment. I, there's one section called Monkey Poo. <laughs> right. <laughs> which, which we find out rather ironic because I'm in a band and our, our website is monkeyflingspoo.com. Uh, no, right. <laughs> right <on. laughs> <laughs> but, uh, but how did the, mon- the, the Monkey Poo uh, section come about? That, what... Well, mon- Monkey Poo is all, it's, it's pretty much like just blogs. Uh, it's, it's what I, like my daily life, well, I try to write as much as I can, but it's just like, the the, sh- the crap <laughs> the crap that I go through uh, every day you know and updates excellent stuff like that that's pretty cool uh, I I assume that you get you derive the monkey poo from uh, your uh, your the uh, your <laughs> EMC pretty much your evolved monkey combat that you created yourself and gave right, right. to right oh yeah uh, tell us a little bit about the EMC uh, EMC uh, formed about five Six years ago, um, it's uh, uh, after after I started doing a. I, I felt like um, I needed to, to get out there more, you know. So so um, I, I hooked up with these these guys and we started doing shows, live shows um, at colleges, festivals. We did like birthday parties. We did like a bar mitzvah one time, <laughs> and uh, and uh, we we needed a name. We needed like a, a cool name, and uh, I came up with Evolved Monkey Combat. And uh, like uh, a year after that, we teamed up with another group of guys. Uh, and their team was called Slung Dung, actually, and uh, <laughs> and we were like, we, our team's fused, but we needed we needed like a cool title, and I was like, Slung Dung might not might not pass for uh, <laughs> in the public, you know, <clears throat> so we decided to call it EMC Martial Arts for Hire, and uh, now now uh, we've we've upgraded from show from doing shows to to stunts and movies, and you know we do the commercials, uh, and we get hired out as like a whole team. And the team is like a, it's 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 an awesome uh, collaboration of uh, of uh, martial artists, acrobatics. Uh, we have break dancers, we have uh, choreographers, video uh, uh, 
uh, people. It's, 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 it's a good team. <laughs> yeah, I watched a good many of your videos, and they all pretty decent productions and very. I uh, one of my favorites was the uh, Ninja vs. Pirate. Oh yeah, definitely. Yeah, Ninja vs. Pirate was was absolute, uh, our step our step up. That's when we started re- using real cameras. <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, we put the costumes all together. We choreograph it, write it, direct it, and yeah, we we plan on making like many more uh, as soon as our our budget. <laughs> yeah, I was uh I looked around. I was looking for uh, part two because it's a uh, Ninja vs. Pirate Part One, and there was some oh, yeah, yeah. knockoff <laughs> animated one that really pissed me off. So <laughs> <laughs> yeah, totally. So we're, we're we're planning on filming the whole thing. Um, I I wrote I wrote the whole thing out and. Uh, actually, we we were supposed to film the whole thing, but um, I bought this prop gun, right, for the pirate, because, you know, the pirates, they use guns, because yeah. they're cheating bastards, and uh, <laughs> we were filming in, the, in a parking lot, um, and we, we don't have permits or anything, you know, we film all our stuff, uh, guerrilla style, and oh. uh, so, so there were cars go, oh, constantly going through through the set, and uh, and uh, someone someone left a gun on the floor, <laughs> and, a, and a car uh, came by and ran it over, so it totally, it just completely stopped our production. <laughs> oh, man. And we can, and we can finish the, the, the skit. Oh, that's <laughs> but what better but we, way? But we definitely plan on continuing that one. Nice. What, what better way there is there to shoot than guerrilla, guerrilla style? There, there really isn't. I know... Uh, <laughs> totally, totally. I know... I mean... Co- go ahead. Sorry? Go ahead. I mean, co- coming from, coming from uh, like, uh, our standpoint, we, we, we've never had, like, a lot of money, and... Uh, we always wanted to shoot the stuff we um, uh, that we write out, but um, and Gorilla is, is, is absolutely the best way. And we we shoot we've been shooting with uh, with just little snap cameras, you know, just yeah. little like uh, ten megapixel cameras and set it in video mode. And that's like uh, the majority of our videos are, are from that. Wow. Nice, that's pretty good. Uh, our our us guys ourselves and a few of our friends, we actually have our own. Uh, "Quote unquote backyard wrestling thing going on, so we know exactly <laughs> what it's like to be doing right. things guerrilla style." <laughs> yeah, definitely, definitely. I've yeah. wrestled. I've wrestled in many, many of baseball parks and uh, elementary school playgrounds in my time. So. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's always it's get in when you fit in. It's yeah, pretty much yeah. the way to go. Pretty much. Uh, a couple other things. I I also read on your page that you had a. It seemed like you had a pretty rough time growing up, uh, moving all around, and then. Moving over here to the states and buying a buying a last name. Oh yeah, yeah. Um, I mean, I was born in the jungle Cam- of Cambodia, and uh, around the, uh, two or three, uh, that was the, the time of civil war and uh, uh, the Khmer Rouge. Uh, they're they're like uh, in power, and uh, they they pretty much invaded the uh, the village that I was in. Uh, so it forced us to, to flee. Uh, into the jungle, and we ended up being refugees uh, in a Thai, in a Thailand, in a camp in Thailand, and uh, we had to buy a Vietnamese last name because I don't know they were like they were favoring the Vietnamese people, so we ended up uh, um, buying the last name Fan, and uh, it just bumped us up the list to come to America. We got sponsored um, America. We got sponsored um, uh, settled in Santa Ana, uh, like crappy part, crappy part. <laughs> of uh, Orange County, and yeah, fought, fought our way <laughs> till now. Yeah, it seemed like I said. Everybody, if you want to go to his website, originalzin.com, there it's it's it, it truly is a really inspirational read. Reading the, the pretty much the tale of your life, or I think you quoted it, the legend. It, it's I, I was inspired. Just pretty much, you came from you struggled and got everything. Everything you have, you worked really hard for, and that's very, very respectable. Thank you, thank you so much. Yeah, I, um, I mean, I, I hope uh, I hope a lot of people can read it so that they can, you know, see my story and see that it's 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 not. Uh, I, I didn't have like a, a great upbringing. I didn't have like money to, to support me, and uh, it pretty much just teaches that anybody can do what I do. You know? Yeah, very, very much so. Um, a couple other notes I have here uh, talking about you growing up. Uh, your nickname for yourself, the Dojo Destroyer. <laughs> the Dojo Destroyer, yeah. The year, the age of the Destroyer. That was a good time. That's when um, I started uh, started learning martial arts, um, and I got got pretty good at it. I was like, uh, I was what they call a genius. 
Um, I picked up really fast, and um, and uh, when I was learning, it was all about it was all about the combat part. You know, it was all about learning how to defend myself and the art of war. And uh, and I always I was constantly wanting to test it, so I jumped around from school to school, dojo to dojo, uh, 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 fighting black belts, <laughs> challenging and fighting the black belts. And um, and I just I just got the nickname just from it. But uh, yeah, I thought I thought I was good until I, I stepped into the ring with a kickboxer who pretty much uh, raped me. <laughs> <laughs> Messed up my legs, uh, took down for like uh, two weeks. I think I was like. I was limping around for two weeks, and after that, I, I tried it. I, I took a, uh, I started studying and fell in love. Uh, it's a very, very valuable lesson to learn, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> definitely, definitely. Very humbling, actually. <laughs> <laughs> well, hey, they, they say what doesn't kill us only makes us stronger. If I <laughs> throw, yeah, in a, throw in a cheap, sure. uh, cheap thing in there. Um, another thing I read go, crossing through your stuff was uh, you were part of Jackie Chan's Disciple of the Dragon. How was how was that working with one of the greats of Oh yeah, wow. Chinese movie I mean, legend. Uh, it's a dream it's a dream come true, you know, because um uh, a lot of people don't know my backstory, which was uh, ten years ago around ten years ago, um I was at home, uh, I was ditching school a lot and I just happened to be sleeping. I hear I hear honk and, and car uh, car screeching down my down my street and it's my friends, you know, they're honking they're all like Jackie Chan's at Walmart, Jackie Chan's at Walmart. And I'm like, man, shut up, Jackie Chan doesn't shop at Walmart. <laughs> and then, and they pull out, they pull out a flyer, and it's like, it's, it's uh, Jackie Chan, he's promoting his, uh, his Rush Hour 1, and also his, uh, his new autobiography. And, um, and I was like, I was like, damn, let's go. So I throw out some clothes real quick, and, um, I'm all, like, dirty, and my hair's all tossed and stuff, and, and uh, I get to, we get to Walmart, and there's a line, like, two times around the block. So I'm sitting there for, like, three hours. And finally, I'm like five people uh, behind, like ready to meet Jackie. I'm like my palms are sweaty. I'm like, oh, what am I gonna say? What am I gonna say? So I finally get up to him, and and uh, like I say as much Chinese as I know, which is like ni hao, uh, kung pao chicken or something. <laughs> and, uh, and and I say like I'm a big fan, you know, like um, uh, and I want to join your stunt team. And Jackie Chan's stunt team is like prestigious, you know, worldwide known, and they they're just crazy. And uh, and Jackie Chan, he's like confused. And he looks he looks at his like bodyguards and producers and stuff. And, and he says, hey, this kid wants to join the stunt team. And they all start cracking up. They all start laughing at me. And I'm like, oh, God. And the Jackie Chan turns on. He starts laughing, too. And, they're like, my heart is crushed. You know, I'm like, Jackie, how could you? <laughs> and uh, while the guys are still laughing, Jackie, like, uh, gets my book and signs it. And he goes, hey, maybe when you get a little older, you know? And, uh, and so I turn around, and I got this, like, this fire inside me that, that like, blazes. So that's when I started my, my real training, my martial arts training, my acrobatics, and my acting, all that stuff. And all, all, all because like I, I want, I want Jackie to like recognize my skills, you know. Mm-hmm. And then uh, last year, I find out that he's having a competition where um, he's looking for a disciple. And I'm like, here's my chance to show Jackie what's up, right? So uh, I, I go and compete, and then I get chosen to uh, to go to China to uh, to um, to continue the competition uh, to become uh, Jackie Chan's disciple. And uh, I get there, I make it to like the second, the third round, and it turns out I don't know enough Chinese. <laughs> like I said, I did everything I needed to, except for the freaking language. <laughs> and uh, so, so I get kicked off, and, um, and I'm like, oh man, dude, I, I, I messed up my chance, right? But uh, that night, I get a phone call from the producers, and they say Jackie Chan is in town for one night only, and he wants to see me, he wants to meet with me. I'm like, what? And I'm trying to ask him, I'm like, hey, uh, I'm pretty busy tonight, see if you can uh, reschedule it. <laughs> and the guy starts tripping, he's all like, He's all like, what, what do you mean, you know, you want to reschedule? This is Jackie, this is Jackie. I'm like, just kidding, man, I'm just kidding. <laughs> and he's like, um, uh, and uh, he tells me, um, uh, he tells me to meet him in his uh, Beijing office. So I get there, and uh, I'm sitting in his office, and I hear this voice. I'm like, dude, that sounds like Jackie. And uh, and uh, all of a sudden, he, he walks into the door. And I stand up to greet Jackie, but before I can say anything, Jackie points at me. And uh, he, he goes, hey, this kid, this kid right here, he's good. And he's telling, like, his producers and stuff, you know? And I'm like in this haze. I'm like, oh man, that's the best comedy I could ever get, you know. And uh, and it, it just it just comes full circle. He starts talking about something I, I don't really understand what he's saying, <laughs> so I ask him to repeat it. And he he starts talking about how like uh, he asked me if I want to stay in China to become a star or if I want to go to America and do my thing there, you know. If I want if, if that's where my heart is. And I'm like, what do I say, you know? I thought Jackie, what do you what do you want me to do? You know, you're, you're Jackie Chan. You give me the advice. And he says, 
go back to America and uh, and because uh, you have a good chance over there, you know. Uh, if you want to learn Chinese and come here and be a thug, then I can help you. But uh, but go back there and uh, if, if we have a project, I'll call you um, to work on it there. I'm like I'm like yeah, that's cool. So I get I get his blessing and um, and then Jackie goes, all right, let's take some pictures. <laughs> and we go outside and take some pictures and he gives me all this like like Jackie Chan flag and he has me a jacket. They're like, uh, a Jackie Chan Stunty jacket, right? And it's like, awesome, except it's pink. <laughs> uh, cool. And then Jackie looks at me and he's like, sorry, this is the last one. <laughs> I'm like, that's cool, that's cool. And I get him to sign it. And, uh, and he sends me off on my way. And I come back to America. And, um, yeah, and then it starts over. So it's, a, it's a whole new whole new journey. Wow, that, wow. Uh. <laughs> Wow, that's it. Seriously, sounds like a dream come true. That'd be like one of us getting to pretty much like getting a pat on the back from like Stone Cold Steve Austin or something like that. Yeah. Totally. Yeah. Yeah. Or being like being told by Vince McMahon that he wants us to main event Raw or something. <laughs> yeah, it's cool. And you know, it's like it's like I mean, we we have these skills that 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 people just don't know about, and we just need that one chance to show it. You know. Exactly. And some of us get it, and. Really grateful for it. That's that's pretty awesome. Uh, another another thing I picked up off your website. I, that's pretty much where I did all my research from you. Was on your <laughs> website. And that was really all I needed because it was totally, totally. <laughs> it was just tons of quality things there. And uh, one of the things that another thing that really stuck out to me was uh, your favorite quote on your bio. And uh, that right. quote is to, to fear death is to limit life. And yeah, I definitely. could not agree more with that. Totally, totally. Yeah, I actually just got that tattooed on my back. On my spine last oh. weekend. In Chinese? In Chinese. To fear death is to limit life. That's nice. awesome. Yeah. Live by the code. Huh. You, know, you can't be afraid you can't be afraid to take chances and take risks. And it's not about you know, it's not about like like uh trying to test test uh like death, you know, it's not it's not trying to go out there and like spit in its face. It's just don't don't let things prohibit you from trying new things, you know. Like uh like uh, riding a motorcycle, um, I I I've wanted for, to ride a motorcycle for like the longest time, and I always put it off. And uh, just like a, a couple months ago, I got I finally got my first bike, and and I love it. It's it's so awesome. The freedom you get, you know, it's like like wind blowing in your face, and you, you can't think about falling and eating it and dying and stuff, you know, because <laughs> you, you stop yourself from from enjoying that experience. And now I wish I I did it I did it a long time ago. Yeah, I. I'd... So many ways, I could totally agree with you and every on everything about that. Uh, yeah. We got a comment from one of our co-hosts in the chat room. He wants uh he wants us to ask you about your appearance in the new Weezer video. Oh, my appearance in the Weezer music video. Yeah. <laughs> right on. Yeah. Um, it, it, the thing was like uh, working on American Gladys. I was on that for like like two months, and I didn't get a single injury. Right. But at the same time, I wasn't able to train train uh, train my body like like um, how I, I I do, you know. Uh -huh. I was training for this American Gladiators for these games specifically, and uh, so I wasn't doing my my martial arts, my my flipping, my acrobatics. And uh, the show finally ends, and I go to this audition uh, where they asked me to to do all of my stuff, and uh, and I do it, but my I guess my body forgot how to how to how to land some of the moves, and I ended up messing my ankle, messing up my ankle, and. Uh, and then the, the like two days after that, I have to go shoot this Weezer music video, and they're like, they're like, alright, then what are you gonna do? We got we got these, these tables and these walls and stuff. I'm like, dude, my ankle is jacked. I have this, I have this stick in my in my car that I'm gonna wave around really quick <laughs> <laughs> to make it look like a I'm a pro with the sword. And they're like, uh, alright, cool. <laughs> so they so they film like all, all this stuff, and and I finally see the video. And it's got like my back for like 0.2 seconds <laughs> on it, and I'm like, dude, that that sucks, you know, because I, I I had a chance to, to show off some more of my my skills, but I didn't. And um, but but the the Weezer the director ended up calling me um uh, last weekend, and he said uh, he asked me to come in to 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 reshoot some stuff for the video, and I'm like I'm like, but the video's already out, right? And he's all like, yeah, but we're gonna do like the director's cut and everything, and I'm like uh. Are you gonna pay me? <laughs> and no, we can't pay you anything. I was like, all right, screw it. <laughs> huh? And my ankle, my ankle hasn't fully healed either, so oh, I'm not wow. too much. Wow. Uh, we got a couple other questions in the chat room. Uh, one of our fans, Mad Mike, 
He's asking, uh, what was your favorite event uh, doing Gladiators? And uh, what do you think of uh, Gina, also known as Crush's MMA, MMA deb debut from last Saturday? Uh, Gina. Debut? Uh, Gina or Crush? Crush? Yeah. Oh, man. Crush is, Crush is so sweet, dude. She's like, and she's a beast when, when you put her in, like, in, in a game and, and she'll just like murder whoever you put in front of her. <laughs> but, uh, but backstage, she's, man, she's so sweet. She's, she's actually like, kind of shy. Which is like cute as hell. Yeah. <laughs> Plus she's hot. Plus she's hot and everything. And and she's a fighter. You know, she's a she's a real fighter. And uh, she actually had a fight like a. Uh, last uh, Saturday, like, yeah. Last week or something. Yeah, it was ago. last Saturday. And which oh, last she, Saturday, yeah, yeah. Which she and, totally. Yeah, so she's, she's real, man. She's awesome. She uh, yeah, she totally kicked the other girl's ass. Yeah. Second <laughs> second round TKO. Yeah. It was awesome. <laughs> no surprise. No surprise. I, I'm a huge crush. Yeah, Crush fan as myself. That's for the my favorite game. Um, there, there, there was a game called Rocket Ball that um, it just like mm -hmm. you're you're tethered to this to this rope that just yanks you up uh -huh. when you press a button, and it's it's just so awesome because I like I like being airborne, you know, and um, and this this thing is. Well, when I was when I was on it, I wasn't even playing the game. I was just running as fast as I could to press a button so I could go up. <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> I think I think that there's no real challenge to it. <laughs> nice. I think that was actually the game you debuted on, wasn't it? It's the what? I thought I think that's the game you debuted with. No, no, I debuted on uh, the wall. Ah, oh, that's uh, right. Yeah, it was the wall. Yeah. Okay. Which is fun too because you know I climb I climb walls like all the damn time. <laughs> so so uh, who, who's better at the wall, you or Rocket? <laughs> Man, you know what? Like when I first when I first uh, showed up to training. Um, and this guy Rocket was like like murdering the wall, right? I'm like I'm like, dude, I can climb this wall faster. So I was climbing it, and like the first the first time I tried it was 13 seconds. I'm like, yeah, 13 seconds. How do you like that? And the trainer was like, uh, the slowest girl is like 14 seconds. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, oh, oh man, I gotta practice some more. <laughs> so, I, so like I started getting the hang of it, and and I started splitting my time like in half and half and half. And then the past time I got was like 5.8 seconds up the wall, right? Jeez. Yeah. And and then and I find out that Rocket got his um, got like five flat or four something, you know? I'm like, yeah, dude, what's up with this guy? And then I find out he's a freaking rock climbing teacher. Oh and wow! Like, How come this guy doesn't climb faster? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I remember him oh, being right. him competing in season one, and just nobody could touch him on the wall at all. Yeah, yeah, totally. Yeah, I, I ended up watching from the cliff, and yeah, he does smoke on that wall. Uh, so, you know, I, I, try to bring some, I, try, I bring style to it, so it's not just <laughs> about climbing the wall, it's about <laughs> making it look tight. <laughs> awesome. Uh, we actually, <laughs> uh, the end of last season, we interviewed, uh, we interviewed uh, Tanawai, or Toa, here okay, with us. Yeah. And uh, uh, he seemed really cool, and uh, of all the gladiators, which one, uh, which one did you get along with the best, or find the most personable? Oh, wow, dude, there was like... When first first going into the gladiators, you know, um, like my manager and agent, they're all like, they're all like, there might be a lot of like macho guys there, and like, uh, be careful, take care of yourself and stuff, you know. And I was like, I was like, yeah, probably, because these these are big guys, and like, they like being in the spotlight, you know. But once I got there, man, they were so cool. It's like a it's like a whole like family there, you know. These guys took me in, took care of me. They're all like, oh, be careful, you got to stretch out for this, and and uh, just show me the ropes, you know. And like, total is so so cool. Um, but, but, you know, who, who ended up being the coolest, uh, which was like a real surprise because, you know, the, on the show, he's like a, he's like this, this jerk, but, uh, Wolf, uh, really? um, he's, he, he, like, he took, he's like a brother there, you know, he's like, he, he held my hand throughout the whole thing, he's like, he's really cool, he's, he's always asking me what's up, uh, how I was doing, you know, getting to know me and everything, and, dude, he's like the coolest guy. Awesome. Hollywood, his name's Hollywood. Yeah, Hollywood Yates, I believe is his real name. Yeah, um, but yeah, plus he's, um, he's a, he's a rodeo clown, <laughs> he's a rodeo clown, and he did, um, he does, he does wrestling as well, yeah. Wow, that makes him so much, he, he's so not that intimidating now that I know he was a rodeo clown. I don't know, rodeo <laughs> clowns? <laughs> no, yeah, man, yeah, yeah I, I see some of those rodeo clown guys, man, <laughs> those guys got balls, dude. <laughs> no, yeah. yeah no, those no, guys no. are the toughest guys out there in a rodeo, <laughs> what are you talking about? Get chased by a bull all night? <laughs> You gotta find bulls, dude. You gotta take a hit. 
<laughs> yeah, yeah, okay, exactly. okay. I stand well, corrected. I stand corrected. I guess. Well, first, uh, 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 how did you uh, end up on the Gladiators? Uh, what was that? How how did that come across you? Man, you know, like like I say, ninety five percent of my jigs comes from my my video on YouTube, my Urban Ninja video. Mm -hmm. And this was this this was this was the same. They they saw they saw the video. They're all like, dude, we need we need a freaking ninja on the show. <laughs> 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 so I was like, yeah, yeah, but you found him. <laughs> so, so what? Yeah, so they called, they called me up. They called me up. They're all like, like, what do you think? Uh, you want to be a gladiator? And I was like, I wasn't sure. They're all like, you want to be on American Gladiators? And I was like, as a contestant or a gladiator? And they're all like, no, no, a gladiator. And I was like, you know, I'm not seven foot tall, right? <laughs> <laughs> right now, we we need like this, this. We need an Asian nimble, uh, like ninja gladiator. And I was like, so pretty much you're looking for me. <laughs> <laughs> Awesome. Yeah, but like in in the end, it feels like it feels like I I just I fit the Asian quota that they were looking for. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> it's cool that they they wanted me for my skill and all, uh, but you know mm. they ended up naming me Zen. I was like, dude, come on, <laughs> I'd be mean, a little more creative than that. Yeah, that's what uh, when I first when I was uh, looking up all the details for season two, and uh, your name came up, and I was like, oh. Yeah. Ooh, Ooh, they're going there with that? <laughs> yeah, oh, I'm not real. too sure about that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because, uh, like, uh, they, were, they were asking me, like, uh, what name, uh, or they were trying to use my, my real name, you know, Zin, because like, I was like, yeah, that's dope. But then they're saying they're going to own it, like, the show was going to own it, and, and I want to be able to use it for, like, my own things. So I was like, fuck that. I mean, screw that. <laughs> yeah, and then so they're all like, they're like well, uh, try to figure out some names that we can use. And, like, I'm like, how about Assassin? Or like a chosen, or like son of heaven, or something, something, something like that, you know. And they're all like, like, yeah, that's that's all right, that's cool, that's cool. And then they're all like, oh yeah, we got it, we got it. We're gonna call you Zen. I was like, oh my god. Fucking <laughs> <laughs> that dude. Yeah. Uh, we we totally. And I heard I, they started saying it so much that um, and uh, it started it just started sounding like Zen, you know. So I was like, I was like, that's cool, just use use that, and people will mistake it for my real name. <laughs> There's looking at the silver lining, but uh, yeah, we welcome any type of profanity here, so you don't yeah, have to worry oh, yeah. about holding yeah. back. All right, uh, shit, I would have been cussing a lot more than far. <laughs> <laughs> that's okay. Get, get your swear quote in now. Uh, We're good. Yeah, that's, that's kind of what everybody <laughs> says. Interview over. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I got a, I got a question about your urban ninja. Did Did you film your urban ninja video, and then it was. Uh, you're pretty much commissioned to use that for the Ninja Gaiden commercial, or did you film that exclusively for that commercial? Uh, for the uh, Ninja Ninja Gaiden, when when they when they uh, talked to me and and uh, and uh, came um, came up with came with me with the with the idea, um, they let me they let me pick every stunt, every location, and um, yeah, they pretty much gave me like total control of the of the project. Nice. Hmm. And they they like how they like how the urban Ninja one came out and. Um, Kind of like raw. It looked raw. It looked dirty. You know, like not filmed with a whole crew and everything. And that's actually how we shot it. We just got like two or three people with uh, handheld cameras. Nice. It looks good. I I was I remember seeing that. I remember seeing that commercial for the first time and the little tagline they have where it's like "Do not attempt professional stunt ninja." <laughs> and I remember laughing oh, yeah. for twenty minutes after <laughs> seeing that. <laughs> yeah, that was tight. <laughs> Oh, there I do. <laughs> um, a couple a couple questions from the chat room. Uh, uh, people were asking, what was it like to uh, work with Hulk Hogan? Oh, man, Hulk is cool as hell. Except that um, he's like, when I first met him, he was, he was like really nice. You know, he's all like, hey, brother. And I was like, yeah, what's up, man? And then he's, uh, we actually have the same agent, Hulk and I. So oh, yeah? um, he saw some of my stuff already. And um, and uh, he's like, he's, he's a, after after like you've talked to him and, and he greets you, He's like really mellow. He's he's really chill, and um, he's uh he kind of he limps from all the from all that wrestling you know he did. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so he's like he's, he has like the a cart that takes him around. And, uh, <laughs> that I actually tried to steal, but <laughs> that, that who tries to steal? <laughs> I tried I tried to take his cart, but um, <laughs> it, they have these wranglers that that watch us all the time, and they're like. And you probably shouldn't do that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but oh. it's really cool. He put me like in his headlock, like he put me like in his muscle, <laughs> and he did like he flexed, so he like squished my brain. <laughs> 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 that was really cool of him. 
Uh, yeah, but he's a big guy. Speaking of wrestlers, there's uh, Matt Morgan who's on there. He, uh, I think yeah, he Morgan. goes by the name Beast. Tiny. You call him Tiny? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We've yet to see him debut. How impressive is he? And uh, I know a lot of us wrestling fans have been have been interested in seeing how he uh, he turns out being on there. Oh. Oh, he, he, um, he debuts, uh, I, forget which, I forget which one he was, but he comes out in, like, this cage, and it's, it's a peculiar entrance. But, uh, yeah, he, he, he's like a mountain, man. Uh, <laughs> I, didn't, I didn't get to see him play any of the games, like, while I was in the back, because I was, like, sleeping a lot. <laughs> but, uh, but, yeah, as far as I know, he was, like, he was, like dominating. He's, like, just, he's, he's the biggest guy there. Like, Justice was, was the biggest guy there. And uh, in the gauntlet, Justice is always like in the back, you know. Yeah. And uh, and then I saw them, I saw them put him in the gauntlet, and he was actually the guy in the back, so huh, he's yeah. like the final, final guy now. Jeez. Damn. So how how intimidating was it being? I I think you're probably you're what probably one of the shortest guys there. How's it be? How what's it like being around all these guys that are like six and a half feet, four hundred and some pounds or whatever, pure muscle? <laughs> I mean, uh, like I used to I used to fight. Yeah, you know, so I used to be in the ring. I did like a couple of underground matches. So and learning, learning the whole combat thing, I, I was never intimidated by by people, no matter what the size. You know, two arms, two legs. Uh, if you've got them, I know how to beat you. So <laughs> so and these guys, uh, I knew they weren't they weren't gonna be aggressive or anything to me. So I was never like really intimidated um, by them. But uh, but you know, standing next to them, it's 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 crazy to see how how freakishly big the human body can get. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, but everyone's just so cool that you, you don't you don't feel any intimidation there, and and it's yeah it's just like a, it's just a big family you know the girls the, the guys everyone's real cool with each other. Speaking of the girls, it wasn't intimidating. It wasn't intimidating being around Helga at all. <laughs> no, not you know I don't want to I don't want to say this, man. Fuck it. <laughs> like when I first got there, I was like, oh, it's, it's Helga, cool, cool, and then um and uh, we'd be training and stuff and and. I, I'll, I'll be doing my thing, and I'll have my back, you know, and people will be talking and laughing and stuff. And then I'll hear, like, a voice. I'm like, I'm like, I hear, um, I, I didn't know who the the guy was. And I turn around, it's Helga. <laughs> <laughs> and it's like, it's happened so many times. Like, I'm, si- I'm sitting there watching uh, watching TV, and then there's, like, there's a couple of guys laughing in the back. And then I turn around, and one of them is Helga. <laughs> <laughs> it's happened so many times. That, that's oh, that's hysterical because I said yeah, that. Yeah, but she's really sweet too. She's, she's cool. We said that said that a few times on uh oh shit with I forget what that event's called with the bridge and the swinging the giant swinging balls um. I, uh, pendulum. Uh, oh no, I don't even know the name of the game. <laughs> anyway, that event we all know what we're talking about here. Uh, yeah. she they they cut the camera to her and she'd say something and my roommate would always be. Holy hell, is she manly. <laughs> Dude, I, I think she gets that a lot, man. It's, it's sad, but... It's, it's just her... She's, she's German, right? Yeah. Yeah. I think, yeah. I think German chicks just have deep voices. <laughs> that's, that's, that's true. That's, that's very true. <laughs> well, I mean, there's, there's a lot of fine German <laughs> girls. Oh, yeah, it's I can not, agree to that as well. But, uh... Yeah, not, all right, not, like, here... The whole, the whole race sucks. <laughs> 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 but uh, we're creeping up here on our time limit, I guess. We uh, we have some type of time limit. I'm getting pointed at to wrap it up. So uh, yeah, right up. But uh, we want to thank you gr- for coming on. It was oh, no, such no. an honor. No, uh, my pleasure, totally, totally. It's it's cool. it's but uh, I guess is there anything we normally let all of our guests do? Is, is there anything you want to plug? Any upcoming events you have? We, we plugged your website to hell and back with the original <laughs> uh, Is there anything else you got for us? Yeah, well, you know, every, uh, anything that comes up, it's, it's usually on the website, and uh, we're always trying to post videos out there. We're always, we're always like hustling, trying to do new stuff. We're gonna maybe we might have a, an EMP <coughs> channel pretty soon, which will be like an online, uh, online direct TV type thing, where you can watch our stuff. Uh, but that's that's still in the works. But yeah, we're always always training, always doing our best, uh, trying to get out there. Uh, gonna be the next martial arts action star. Uh, it's not a, not a question of if, you know, it's a question yeah. of when. And I uh, hope, hope everyone stays tuned, and uh, thanks for listening and supporting. Sounds good. Hopefully we'll see you. You'll be the, uh, you'll be the, um, 
the third man that completes the trifecta then in uh, the next movie starring Jet Li and Jackie Chan. And we'll see Zin Wuku up there with them, and everybody will be pretty impressed. Oh, hell yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, real quick before we let you go, can we get a liner for the Wrestling Mayhem show from you? A liner? Uh, I'm sorry? Like, this is Zen, and you're listening to the Wrestling Mayhem show? Oh, yeah, yeah. The show. What up, what up? This is Zen, the almighty, the almost legendary. Here, listening to the Wrestling Mayhem show. Thanks, everybody. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned. All right, thanks a lot, man. Thanks. That was pretty great. Like, again, thanks so much for coming on the show. I know you said it's an honor for you. It's an honor for us. It's a good time. It helps everybody. It's awesome. Yeah, yeah, totally. Keep in touch. Uh, uh, let me know anytime you guys need some help. You know, let oh. me know. I'll be happy to. We'll definitely do that. I got your got your number. I got your email. We'll be good to go. We'll be in touch. <laughs> good. Thanks, guys. All right, Talk you take you, it easy. You have a great night, man. All right, thanks a lot, man. You too. Take care. <laughs> take care. Take care. Well, there you go, Zen. <laughs> what the hell? I don't know. I've been wanting to do that the whole time. Zen from the American Gladiators. Zen Wuku. X I N W U K U. Oh, can I have the